ready. I I mean, I feel like Beast is Tri-State's best kept secret right yeah, now. Yeah, it's true. I think I think Joel is just the the chemical X, like the yeah, weapon true. X. Like how you you will gauge if a player is good or not if they're able to deal with Joel's advantage because he has such such potent advantage. He's just really really good at capitalizing on your biggest mistakes, going for these insane risky plays that just destroy you. Um you know, Joel been on the come-up lately. He's been doing really, really well. I think Squirtle already to start off against Mars is perfect. That being said, you know, Mars and Light, the two Titans of this bracket for sure. And uh, we're going to see if Titans can bleed today. Yeah, for sure. I feel like right now Beast is just trying to play a little bit cautious, and Mars is kind of, like, picking up on that. He's like, uh, he doesn't really want to, like, be a little bit more fluid with his combo. So Mars is just kind of, like, utilizing the phaser whip, the side B, and also utilizing a lot of the zero suit Samus out of shield options and strong aerials as well to kind of, like, snuff the approach. This is kind of what I'm more so expecting. I want to see Beast just try it with the Zard. I feel like Mars wouldn't be ready for something like that. But, of course, we got zero suit at low percent. She's skinny, so, of course, Squirtle's got to come out at some point. It's the by-the-book play to do, right, too? Like, Squirtle, Squirtle's for the, you know, getting in, getting your damage before you can really start converting with either Ivysaur or Zard. So definitely very status quo right here. That being said, though, like, that's not going to work against Mars. I feel like you have to bring your best when you're going to be playing against a character like this. Like, already, Beast looks so much more comfortable as he pulls out Zard. I think he just has the most matchup experience on this character. That being said, not too many crazy good zero suits in Tri-State. No, definitely not. We we lost Juice a while yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. who kind of, what I like <laughs> to call him. soft quit. <laughs> like, he didn't outright be like, all right, I'm done with Smash, but just like got a job instead and mm -hmm. then just, you know, stopped playing the game. The Smasher uh, Pipeline. I feel so like the... Stop <laughs> soft quitting. Ooh, okay. Mars totally knew what to look out for there Ooh. with the Flare Boys. This is tough. I think Mars is playing this mid-range nigh perfectly right yeah. now. He's either just conditioning with Zare to try and get Beast to inch his way in and slow the pacing of his gameplay down, and then he's just taking full abuse of that right there. But that being said, Beast sitting on this second stock. One more up throw away from being killed. Yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But, you know, not looking bad. Not looking too bad at all. I think, you know, this is a... The sad part is these sets are all best of three, I think, until top eight or top yeah. three. I don't remember which one. So there's not too much time for Joel to get the download. Yeah, it's very true. I feel like Joel is playing very timid as well. I don't feel like Beast has like that X Factor confidence that we always talk about. He's not going Beast mode. Right. I, I, I like that. It's pretty um, good. It's in I his crew name. <laughs> right, it's true. I just feel like it's not like that oomph, like, all right, I'm yeah. going to beat you no matter what. Like, I feel Ooh, like he has, no. like, the, I feel like he has the, oh, well, we'll see what happens. But, you know, when he played Fatality, it was definitely like, oh, I can totally win this. And I feel like right now he, you could see that in his play as well. He didn't, unfortunately, get the jab lock I was going to say, earlier, that was yeah. huge. Like, especially against a player like Mars, you take every, but now Mars is not missing a single tech, you know? Yeah. You really have to take the few openings you're given against these stellar players when you can. And, you know, I think Beast is doing a really good job with his Squirtle. He's staying super grounded. He hasn't gotten hit for, for, like, a really good amount of time right here as he stopped jumping now. You know, really quick adaptation there, but Mars sitting at a fat 93. Not looking too bad. He's in stage control, too. That's going to be the first game for sure. Yeah, yeah. all the way up Call the it end. the switch perfectly there. Yeah, Beast doing what I'd like to call the Jackal Twirly, where you twirl your pointer <laughs> finger. Uh, Jackal did that first at Fusion. That's the first time I ever really? saw that. Yeah, I, I called the Jackal Twirly. Yeah, that movement was nuts from, from Joel right there. Yeah. The little dash walk into like jump and then face back. He essentially wanted to corner Mars yeah. off of the side of stage, get quick back throw, and then like next. But once again, I feel like Beast just kind of has to like puff up and be like, you know what? I totally got this. I don't care I think you're like, right. who I'm fighting. I think a little more confidence would go a long yep. way just because that was kind of a spaghetti swap right there. True. Like he was in the corner against Zero Suit and he's doing an option that's basically equivalent to doing like a really laggy air dodge. Yeah. And that you can't be doing that, especially when I feel like Beast had really no trouble getting in when he was staying grounded in these situations right here. Yep, there we go, though. Great parry, though, by Beast. Here we go. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, it's def the Squirtle isn't working quite yet. Going to be able to get the parry into the punish there, but nothing quite home. You talked about this a little bit earlier, catching the jumps, and I yeah. feel like Mars is just dominating the ground game at this point so much that Beast doesn't really want to, like, do anything, right? I feel like a lot of times Squirtles kind of land with the fair, land with the nair, and I feel like all of those options are essentially off the table so much now that he's sticking on the Ivysaur, and I don't even think the Ivysaur would do much here. No, Ooh. it's just that he's kind of floaty his jumps are easy to call i think you're 100 right em i think i think literally the lack of confidence beast has been playing with plus this mid-range like when he does start jumping after all this close-up pressure he's not escaping it properly nope. mars is spacing his zare so perfectly at like a mid height to where beast can't really jump up without getting 
poked first. Very, very true. Uh, I think Squirtle's the main way he's going to be able to get in here. I don't think he's going to be able to beast X-Factor his way out of this one with no, Zard. Not at all. He's just too big, too slow. Mars is also just a master of what people like to call camping in your face. <laughs> you know, he, 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 it's under the guise of being aggressive and mashy, but he keeps a very good mid-range, and he makes it so he can hit you when you overcommit. But yeah. you can't hit him when he's trying to commit. Yeah, it's very, very true. I also feel like Mars is dominating like the right side of the stage really well. Beast can't really decide whether the platform's safe or not either. Mm -hmm. It's really just kind of just picking. And now Mars really just needs one good confirm at this point. Going to land with the down air, even into the up smash. Beast going to rely on Charizard here. But of course, it doesn't even yeah. seem to matter. It, Beast didn't want that. I can tell by the yeah. way he played, he did not want that. I, th I think it's just a classic case of like, you know, a picture like just a lone like little wooden rowboat in like a middle yeah. of the Bermuda Triangle. Like you're in uncharted territory at this point. You don't really have the resources or, or you know. I feel like Joel is a, has so much playtime. I see him compete like crazy. Yeah. I feel like this was one test he wasn't able to study for or just wasn't ready for. I don't think he wanted it enough. Just as somebody yeah. who like knows him, mm -hmm. I know when he's going into a set confident that is not the beast I know. I that think he is just got better playered. I, totally. I, I think getting better playered is very shattering to most players' egos. It, yeah. it can really destroy a player who, especially like Joel, who has been having such a meteoric rise lately as a player, yeah. and just being snuffed out before the momentum can even start. It, it, it's you know, it, it shatters people's expectations. It shatters your gameplay. He, Mars kept him in check the entire team. Joel, Joel was in jail. He yeah, couldn't break out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah.